morning and welcome back to a video. I'm here at my nail studio getting ready for a day of nail things. I'm back in the studio for the first time in quite a quite a while because I got the COVID. Um, so I was off for like two weeks. But I was one of the lucky ones who didn't get COVID bad. I just basically had a minor cold. It was actually more mild than normal colds that I get. So it was pretty chill. Um, but I brought all my stuff home with me, all my nail stuff home with me, sorry. So I'd have something to do while I was stuck indoors. So I brought it all back last night. Um, I'm unpacking it. Unpacked like the essentials this morning. No, I didn't. I unpacked the essentials last night. And now I just need to clean my studio and get ready for my first client. But uh, yeah, you would have seen that already, me unpacking and doing some cleaning. Um, but I figured I'd take you through a week of nail stuff. I have three days worth of appointments this week because I mean I only offer three days a week so that explains that but uh yeah I thought I'd show you what I get up to here. Just finished with my first client rather uneventful um we just did a removal so I didn't tell him anything to show you guys because it wasn't too exciting but her nails are so long and one of my greatest pleasures is convincing JLX wearing people that they can grow out their nails using Builder she is one of those converts. She just told me she will be getting builder again in the future because her nails were so long after a month of growing out. Um, anyways, I'm, oh, I have a really bad eye twitch. It's been going on for like two weeks now. Anyways, I am going to get cleaned up and then put away more stuff that I still have boxed up behind the curtain <laughs> that I had brought home. And then my next client is coming in for removal with a builder manicure and tier two nail art. And I think, I don't know if I mentioned this already. I think we're doing some sort of snowflake art. Actually, and I uh, got a new LED light. I'll show you guys that after too. Rather an exciting story, but I bought one, didn't work. I had to buy another one. Hopefully this one works, fingers crossed. Okay, so this is the new light I got. It's the gel bottle light the way light. Um, so basically I ended up buying a light from a supplier, a Toronto nail supply store, and it was a Sun UV light, which I've used before and worked great with my gels and stuff, but for whatever reason that one just kept not curing or like my gels were wrinkling, top coats weren't curing, I was having to like have people in the light for like two minutes to cure the top coats. Which obviously is very annoying. Um, so I've emailed them and I'm hopefully sorting that out with them. I've, I'm waiting for them to send me a return label. I don't know how it's gonna end up going. I asked them if I could just get a store credit for the store. So obviously I'm gonna continue to shop there. Um, but I didn't want a light, obviously that didn't work. So I ordered this one from the gel bottle. The thing with this one is it is basically the exact same as the Sun UV light that I had ordered from that supply store, except for the gel bottle collaboration. So I'm hoping, I haven't used this one yet, as you saw, I just unboxed it, but I'm hoping that this one works a little bit better and I'm thinking that the other one was probably just defective because I haven't had any issues with sun UV lamps before. Um, I also, this one was on sale, it's regular, like 200 bucks, it was on sale for 150. The light I had originally bought was $100, so I was like, okay, I'm paying the $50 more. This one comes with a year warranty. And then this one also, I'm planning on taking some gel bottle courses in the spring. Um, and one of the prerequisites is having this light. So I was like, okay, I may as well just get it while it's on sale, spend the extra 50 bucks, not a big deal, and get this light and hopefully get something resolved with the other company that the light wasn't working. So anyways, here we are. Uh, I also, the one that I had before was black on the interior and this one's white. So I'm thinking because it's white on the interior, it'll reflect light better than the black would. Obviously the black would just absorb light. Um, so I'm hoping that this will help with curing a bit better. We shall see though. Um, it's got a removable bottom tray, which they say is for pedicures, although I'm not going to... I'm trying to remove it, but I cannot, so I'm not going to force it because I don't want to break it, and, and I don't do good cures, so that's fine. Um, it's got the 10 second, 30 second, 60 second, and low heat mode, which is pretty standard, I feel like, for most, most lights. And then, oh, I didn't even think about this. It says that it comes with a adapter plug-in that's suitable for Canadian outlets, because... The gel balls from the UK, so I'm hoping that that is the case. 
Yeah. Okay. We're good. That was a moment of stress. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So this is this light. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm hoping it works well. I wish I had nothing on my nails so I can test it out on myself first. But you know, that is life. I will, uh, I'll just see how it goes with my first client and I will keep you posted. <laughs> I just finished up my last client. You can see my mask mark on my face and I'm still covered in nail dust, but I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes. Um, I have like an hour and a half before my next client anyway, so I'm gonna have something to eat. The only food that I brought today, cashews. <laughs> I'm like the world's worst at packing food for the studio. I almost never do. And if I do, it's usually something like a granola bar that's supposed to last me however long I'm here, 12 hours or <laughs> something equally as un unnutritious, as unnutritious, how do you, unnutritious is that a word? Anyways, so I'm going to sit here and eat this and relax for a minute and then clean up all the stuff that I need to clean up behind me and then move on to my next client. I forgot I got this new shade from the gel bubble after party. When I ordered my lamp, I limited myself to only ordering one color, which was hard. Um, oops, sorry. Oh, now you're blurry, hold on. We're back. Anyway, so I ordered this one color because it looked like super kind of like bluish pink on everyone's Instagrams. <laughs> And it's kind of looking like more purple in real life, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'm gonna swatch it and put it in my swatch book. And hopefully there's some lovely people out there who want it. Cause like, okay, actually in the top swatch, it looks really pretty. I don't know, it just looks completely different in here. Maybe when it cures, it cures different. I don't know, let's, let's just swatch it. I um, just smudged some of the gel paint on my brand new lamp as it was going in, so that's great. Okay, I guess that looks kind of similar. <laughs> okay, but I was just looking through the gel bottle hashtag for this color, and I swear when they're like on someone's fingers, they like cast kind of almost like reddish. Like, see how down the side of the swatch on, well, now on that actually too. I was gonna say on the side of the swatch on the bottle, it almost has like this like jelly pink effect. But I guess if you tilt the nail that way too, it does the same thing. Weird, okay. I think I'm losing my mind. Okay, one more thing. I didn't know how similar It's Britney Bitch and After Party were gonna be. So you can see it's After Party's on the top and It's Britney Bitch is on the bottom. But After Party is obviously way more shimmery. Like in comparison, This Britney Bitch doesn't even look like it has shimmer. Unless you really catch the light. morning it's Tuesday I'm now back at the studio it's probably like 11 30 ish my first client is in at noon and we are doing um, a similar set to the set that I did for myself for Christmas with all the little like gems I'll just put a photo <laughs> we're doing something like that today um, which I'm excited for because I love that set that's super cute and then my second appointment for the day canceled unfortunately so I'm seeing if anyone else wants to come in um, but yeah, so I'm just cleaning up and getting things ready. I'm very tired today. I don't know why, actually. I did sleep seemingly well, but I just, like, slept an hour past my alarm. Um, and then couldn't drag my ass out of bed, so I don't know. <laughs> I just want to lie down. But so is life. Um, we shall carry on. It's effing freezing out today. It's minus 26, I believe. Uh, which is very cold, so it's very cold in my studio. I have my little space heaters going because it's like 
16 degrees in here when usually it's a lot warmer um but that's just how cold it is and what an old building it is that all the heat essentially escapes right up through the windows anyways um yeah so i'm just gonna get ready get my table all set up for my first client and then uh we'll go from there Okay, I'm at home. It's Wednesday. It's my day off, but I just had some mail mail arrive. Um, some stuff that I ordered. I think I was telling you about the blue chromes that I'm super excited about. So I thought I would just uh, open this package up and show you. Literally is my happy mail. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I got is a roll of Cocoa's Forms butterfly forms. I'm trying to get into sculpting. Um, I have a very strong interest in sculpting so I got some good forms because the other ones I had uh, ordered off of Amazon I had tried using before and they just like wouldn't stick. They were kind of crappy. Um, and I know Cocos is obviously a great brand. I'm familiar with their products and I've seen lots of nail techs uh, like the Nail Hub use these forms so I thought I'd get myself some of these. Next I got a new set of cuticle nippers stainless steel um i'm just looking for really i don't know i find a lot of my cuticle nippers dull quite quickly and then they also get really um stiff after cleaning which i know you can oil them um i don't know i'm still on the search for some good cuticle nippers that are really long lasting because i've been buying a bunch from this one um supply store and yeah they just don't last me very long they're a bit cheaper but yeah, they just don't last long. So I'd rather pay a little bit extra money and get a lot more time out of them. So I'm hoping that these ones are good. I'll probably give them a whirl of myself first and then um, go from there. And then I got two packs of these little, they're like little metal blobs. Like you can kind of do this effect with chrome um, and like some 3D gel or some thicker gel to make things 3D. But I thought that these were super, super cool just if you actually want like a true metal look. Um, and I like that they come in all different shapes so you can just kind of sprinkle them around the nails. I think if you did like a plain nude set, like a builder set, for example, and then just had like a couple of these on some of the nails, they'd look like super, super cool. Um, so you only get a few of the packs, so I ordered two packs of them. I think they're gonna look really, really nice. I'm super excited about those. And then lastly, sorry, I know the lighting's not the best in, in here. I'm just sitting in my living room, um, are these ice gel glow powders. So I got one in um, the pastel neon sky and then pastel neon pink. Um, and so these are the ones that are supposed to, they kind of leave the nail in its true color. And then when it just catches in the light, it glows that color. I'll definitely swatch these later on. Um, I do want to use them myself. So we'll, we'll give those a go later, but I think they're going to be hoping they're going to be really cool. Even like that, you can kind of see the way it catches the light and shines really intensely. <sighs> I'm very excited. Anyways, so that's all I got. Not a huge order, just some fun stuff I'm super excited about. I'll probably be using these in combination with each other. I'm going to sculpt myself out a set at some point soon and then use these guys on top. Good morning. I am back at the studio. It is Thursday morning. Um, I ended up leaving Tuesday afternoon in a bit of a hurry here um, because I had quite the headache so I have a bit of cleaning to do and usually I like to get to my studio an hour before my first client to clean up but I'm pushing it today because I slept through my alarm so it's only 40 minutes which stresses me out but I don't actually need the full 40 minutes I can get everything done in like 20 so I need to just chill out but yeah so I got a bit of tiny enough to do and my first client is a mystery manny which I love um, so mystery manny is where the client books in and they don't know what they're getting. Mystery. Um, which is super fun for me because it gives me a chance to do things that I've been thinking, I've been wanting to do, or I've been wanting to do on myself or whatever. And then I just get to do it on my client. Yeah, so with the Mystery Mini also, they don't have any input. They get to choose their base. So whether they're getting a gel base, a builder base, or a gel X base. Um, but other than that, oh, and I let them choose the shape because and length. Because if they're getting like gel X, obviously I don't want to put like uh, extra long stilettos on them if they like can't wear that. So I let them choose the shape and the length and that's it. Otherwise it's up to me. 
But anyways, I'm gonna quickly get this place cleaned up and then if I have a bit of time, I'll actually show you guys the space because I realize I haven't done that yet. It's pretty cute in here, so. Okay, here's my studio. Do a little wide angle there for ya. Um, so on this side, we have a little lounge area, <laughs> a chair, and a side table. And this cute pink mirror that I made. Um, little checkerboard floor, which I hand painted. Um, my plants. I was pointing at those and I didn't say anything. And then I have these, okay. So I have these little guys here. And one of my clients, Angela, gave me a blind box for Christmas and I got these cute little pigs. Um, and I'm obsessed with them. So I started getting more blind boxes and then like sprinkling them everywhere. Um, my friend Vanessa got me these guys. This was another blind box. But I want it to be like, you don't like notice them. And then there's just like these little creature monsters kind of hidden everywhere. So like over here in this big plant, I have these cute little alien ones. <laughs> They're just really cute. Anyways, um, so this is my desk setup. Client sits here, I sit by the window. Um, I have all my gel bottle polishes along here. And then in these drawers, I have some like nail art stuff. I have some more gels, mostly like, I have a few like backup gel bottle gels and then I have just like kind of random ones. Um, some like McCart jelly nails, some poly gel, OPI, that kind of thing, random stuff. I have my cuticle oil, which I make and sell for $10 a tube. It's fantastic, very, very hydrating. And then, my little saddle stool. I got more drawers with all my supplies. But this is pretty much it. I have a bathroom as well, down in that little corridor there. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is this is my little studio and that, my Cupid I'm obsessed with. We found that at a Goodwill for like $4. I just think it's the cutest fucking thing in the world. It's definitely like someone made this as a craft in like the 50s. It's so good. Anyways, this is it. Hello. Um, so I finished my first two clients. I have one more coming in. So I'm just uh, cleaning up and getting ready. I am unseasonably in a crop tank top at the moment. But I get very hot while I'm doing nails. And I think it's because I'm just like so concentrating. My whole body is like so tense. Um, so I feel like I always start with a hoodie on and then I'm like midway through like, I gotta get this thing off. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, but I'm kind of cold right now because I'm not currently doing nails. Anyways, very uninteresting information. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get prepped for my next client. They are in at 5.30 and we're doing like a 3D lobby set, I believe. That was the intention, unless they come in and change their mind, which could happen. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then I am gonna be done for until Monday. No, oh my God, I'm gonna be done until next Thursday because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe I'm going to my dad's place. So it's gonna have a week long break. I should actually at some point this weekend do my own nails because these are have been on for like two weeks now and I'm, I'm ready for a change. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm just getting ready, have a snack. That's all. I'll show you the nails once we're, once we're done. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished up my final set for the week until I do my own set, which maybe I'll fill you guys in on. No, I'll save that for another vlog. Okay, anyways, um, I'm going to sign out here. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video.